First, I'd like to welcome this to the stage, and I'm delighted to see this, a focus on work placement coordinators. Uh, and the pilot group here was led by the expert mentor, Angela Short. And they're going to do about two in animation about their professional development experience and impact. So there are nine participants, a very healthy group uh, within this work placement coordinators. So our first group, Angela, you're very warmly welcome. So I'm Angela Short, but I was just a bystander. Really, the people are the work placement, so I'll let this lady introduce herself. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Amy McMullen, and I am a work placement manager from UCC. Um, the, this is our video. If, I just want to mention that there were other people involved in the process in UCC as well. So I'm just a representative. Uh, there were four of us, Dervlo Callaghan, Gillian O'Mahony, and Aileen Waterman. And Aileen is, uh, is part of the presentation, but just virtually. So here we go. Hello, everyone. We are Amy McMullen and Aileen Waterman, work placement managers in University College Cork. We want to share with you an overview of why we got involved with the professional development framework and our experience of it. There were very definite reasons why we decided to get involved. As placement managers, we would have found it difficult to identify as teachers, so we looked forward to the opportunity to reflect on and document what we have already achieved in the teaching and learning space. We wanted to validate our teaching skills. This was possible through reflection and working through the five domains of the framework. We looked forward to learning new skills together, especially IT skills, using Google Sites to create our websites and learning about other platforms that might improve or enhance our teaching, for example, Powtoon and Padlet. We work a lot of the time as individuals so we looked forward to having an opportunity outside of our core work to collaborate with each other and with other colleagues. We got off to a bit of a rocky start. We had a lot of questions. Are we doing this right? Are we on the right track? Especially as we missed the introductory workshop. With all these questions, we decided the only thing to do was to call Angela. And problem solved. Angela came to the rescue. Her support was invaluable, and whether through email or her visits to Cork, her advice and help always reassured us. So what were the positives of being involved with the framework? Well, it's flexibility. The domains could all be completed, or you could engage with those that you felt most qualified or comfortable to work with. The framework offered us the welcome opportunity to reflect on positives and challenges we experience within the teaching and learning space, which in turn encouraged us to think positively about our skills and encouraged us to seek out solutions to challenges. And finally, the framework's domains, descriptions and prompts were extremely helpful in guiding us through the practical putting together of our Google Sites. What did we feel we achieved from being involved with the framework? Certainly increased collaboration, sharing ideas and teaching techniques. Aileen and I even collaborated on a short article along the way. We increased in confidence using IT. For example, we built our own websites, we created infographics, and even this presentation is only possible because of our engagement with this framework. Overall, we feel more confident identifying as teachers and an increased confidence in our teaching skills and abilities. We are delighted to be here to celebrate the framework with all of you today. Thank you for listening to the story of our PDF journey.